In this equation, we have HF, hydrofluoric acid, plus BaOH2, that's barium hydroxide. So we have an acid and a base. This is a neutralization reaction. We'll end up with barium fluoride, BaF2, that's a salt, plus water. Let's count the atoms up on each side. So we have one hydrogen here, and we have this hydrogen here, and the two, that's applied to everything in the parentheses. So we have two times the one, two hydrogens for a total of three hydrogen atoms. One fluorine, one barium, and the two, that applies to everything, so two times one, two oxygen atoms. Over on the product side, we have two hydrogens, two fluorines, one barium, and then one oxygen. When I look at it, I can see I have an odd number of hydrogens. That's a bit of a problem. And then my fluorine, that's not balanced either. Let's, let's fix the fluorines first. So I have two here on the products, one on the reactants. I can multiply the HF by two. So fluorine, one times two, that equals two. So that's balanced. And then the two applies to the whole compound. So I need to update my hydrogens. So I have the, we've done the fluorines, one hydrogen times the two, that gives me two hydrogens, plus I have the one hydrogen there times the two, I have two there, and that gives me four, which is a little better, it's an even number, because now I can go over here to the product side, and two times two, that'll give me four, that'll balance the hydrogens, but the two, it goes to everything, so I have one times the two, and that gives me two oxygens, which works out well because now the oxygens are balanced. In fact, everything's balanced. So we're done with this equation. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for HF plus BaOH2 yields BaF2 plus H2O. Thanks for watching.